57,366 is the attendance at the Coliseum today. And if they are Ram fans, they've enjoyed it thoroughly. If they came to cheer for Atlanta, it might a long day. Rams with nine points in the first quarter, then 15, 14, and 14. 52 to nothing over Atlanta. Out first downing the Falcons, 26 to 8. Mm -hmm. Jenkins left and Gilliam to the right. On first and five, to give us Esposito straight ahead, no gain. He ran right into Larry Brooks. Brooks in the process stole the football, but after the whistle. And we have an injured Falcon on the play. As Bob Adams signals uh, come in for help. And it's Sonny Collins who goes out. The fans at the closed end of the Coliseum are chanting something. We want Olsen, I believe. I think they want Olsen to come out for a final bow. We want Olsen, I believe, is the chant. I, I'll go for that. I think he should come out one more time. Here's McQuilkin, a screen pass to Bubba Bean at the 10. Complete, he's to the 15-yard line and tackled immediately. One more chance, knowing it's the last chance for Olsen. Here he comes out of the field, and listen to this crowd. to give Merlin Olsen a final send-off. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you for your great play as a Los Angeles Ram, and you'll be in the Hall of Fame soon. He's in for the one play. They're still on their feet. They're going to cheer right through this play. McQuilkin asked the crowd to quiet. Hey, that's bad. Don't be a bad sport, Kim. It's 52 nothing. Back he goes to throw. He looks. Olsen hits him. No, it isn't Olsen. I, my heart got in the way of that call. I wanted it to be Olsen. It was Mike Fanning. But Merlin Olsen, in my heart, made that sack. <laughs> and here he comes off the field. Thank you again. I do. Merlin Olsen raises his hands high to acknowledge the crowd. And his teammates join him with a big embrace. Now that's a nice touch. That's one part of this game that has changed that I like. In the old days, sometimes those moments were lost and fans didn't get a chance to offer that final salute. Mike Fanning, to make things uh, official and accurate, made that last sack, the sixth of the day for the Rams, who now have 40 for the year. James pinned deep in his own end zone to punt out of trouble. There's the snap, and he gets his kick away. Hits another beauty. Boy, he can kick it. Back goes Bertelson all the way to his own 39-yard line. Back he comes to 40, heads for the right sideline, cuts inside one block of the 45, breaks one tackle, heads to the sideline to the 50, breaks another tackle, and gets to the 47-yard line of Atlanta. Jim Bertelson, Haskell Sandback, made the tackle on the run back. 55-yard punt by James, stops the clock, 2-12 left in the game. Rams 52, Atlanta nothing. And there'll be some cry of pouring it on, I'm sure, from the Atlanta reporters. Ron Jaworski now comes in, the third Ram quarterback used today. Pat Hayden started, played very well again. Harris threw a long 80-yard touchdown bomb while he was in there. And now Ron Jaworski. Jack Prote give us the total on James Harris. And now the Polish rifle, Ron Jaworski, in in a 52 to nothing game. And I'm sure he's been told to keep the ball on the ground. He hands it off to Scribner. Scribner at the 45. The 40 breaks outside and almost goes all the way. He's knocked down at the 36-yard line. Tommy Novus saved the touchdown. He refuses to knuckle under. You have to love a man who has that kind of caliber. Novus made another tackle. Scribner was on his way to a long touchdown. There is the two-minute warning. Two minutes left in the game. Rams 52, Atlanta nothing. 